Hi, for today's video, I'm going to demonstrate the assisting a patient with the use of bedpan. For this demonstration, these are the, these are the materials I'm going to use. Toilet paper, bat blanket, this will serve as my bedpan, two washcloth, alcohol, waist receptacle, and gloves. Then perform hand hygiene. Also, do not forget to provide privacy to the patient by closing the door, the curtains, and diminishing the room noise. Next, introduce yourself to the patient, identify the patient by the two identifiers, then explain the procedure. Then, adjust the bed into a comfortable working height, which is usually elbow height of the nurse. Then, assist the patient to be in a supine position if possible. After explaining the procedure to the patient, the first thing to do is to put the bat blanket over the patient's blanket. Then fold the top linen together with the bat blanket just enough to allow placement of the bedpan. Then, assist the patient to bend the knees. Have the patient lift his or her hips upward. Assist patient if necessary. Then, put on gloves. Then, the next thing to do is to get the waterproof pad and slip it under the patient's hips. You can assist the patient or ask the patient to lift her hips. Then get the bedpan and slip it under the patient's hips. You can assist or ask the patient to lift her hips upward. Ensure that bedpan is in proper position and patient's buttocks are resting on the rounded shelf of the regular bedpan or the shallow rim of the fractured bedpan. Then cover the patient with bed linens. Place call bell and toilet tissue within easy reach. Place the bed in the lowest position. Leave patient if it is safe to do so. Then remove gloves and additional PPE if used. Then perform hand hygiene. For removing the bedpan, perform hand hygiene and put on gloves and additional PPE as indicated. Remove bedpan in the same manner in which it was offered, being careful to hold it steady. Ask the patient to bend the knees and lift the buttocks up from the bedpan. Place the bedpan on the bedside chair and cover it. If patient needs assistance with hygiene, assist the patient to be in a side-lying position. Then wrap tissue around the hand several times and wipe patient clean using one stroke from the pubic area toward the anal area. Discard tissue and use one more until patient is clean. Remove your gloves and discard it in the waist receptacle. Then assist the patient to be back in a supine position. Replace or remove pad under the patient as necessary. Raise side rail, lower bed height and adjust head of bed to a comfortable position. Reattach call bell and offer patient supplies to wash and dry his or her hands, assisting as necessary. Then, assist the patient to be in a comfortable position. Do not forget to document all the results and information. Again, for this procedure, we are checking for COCA, which stands for Color, Odor, Characteristics, and Amount.